How far must Anna Duggar go to see Josh? Tontatown, Arkansas, where the Duggars live, is located in northwest Arkansas. According to Google Maps, the travel from Tontatown to FCI Seagoville is approximately 357 miles and takes 5 hours and 38 minutes. So, if Anna wants to visit Josh, this is a reasonable distance for her to travel. It would take approximately 11 hours round journey, not including pauses. Of course, Anna Duggar would take longer if she had the kids with her and needed to make additional stops along the route. There are also flights into Dallas, and Seagoville is a Dallas suburb. Flights depart from Fayetteville, Arkansas, rather than Tontatown. It would take just over one hour to fly from Fayetteville, Arkansas to Dallas, Texas. That is an additional option. So, do you think Anna Duggar will pay Josh a visit in jail? Do you think any more Duggar family members will pay him a visit? Please share your opinions in the section below. Anna Duggar said she's happy with Josh. Formerly 19 children and counting Anna Duggar revealed that she and her husband Josh are still happily married. This follows his most recent scandal and conviction. So, just what did Anna say? Fans beg Anna Duggar to leave Josh and protect their kids. Fans have voiced fear about their seven children due to the seriousness of his charges. Mackenzie, their eldest, is 12, and Madison, their youngest, will turn one in October. Michael, Marcus, Meredith, Mason, and Mariella are among their other children. As a result, many have resorted to social media to urge Anna to divorce her husband and focus on her children. Fans are concerned that he may endanger the children as well. Regardless, Anna appears to be by her husband's side. She celebrated her 34th birthday last week, as well as the 14th anniversary of Josh proposing to her. She now appears to be clarifying their relationship status. She confirms she's still happy with Josh. This weekend, Anna Duggar made an unexpected social media adjustment. She never updated her Instagram and Twitter biographies to include her seventh child, Madison, who was born in October. Her bio always stated that she had six children. This is a little detail, yet it was noted by admirers. She made the change this weekend, including Madison in the count. Her revised bio can be found in the screenshot below. The first screenshot shows her April 2022 Twitter bio. The next one is of her Twitter bio on Sunday, June 26, 2022. And the final screenshot is her Instagram bio on Sunday, June 26, 2022, as well. Anna Duggar had the opportunity to edit the portion about being married to Josh since she went into her profile settings to update her bio on both Instagram and Twitter. However, as you can see, she left that section off of her bio. This is despite the fact that he was convicted guilty of child pornography charges. She's also faced a lot of abuse for sticking with him. Though we don't know what's going on behind the scenes in Anna Duggar's life, it appears that she is still married to Josh. So, do you find it surprising that Anna Duggar professes to be happy married to Josh after everything that has happened? Do you believe that will change throughout his 12-year prison sentence? Please share your opinions in the section below.